Here is Captain Jock Seagull, and his journey begins today. He is the uh, just freed himself from prison, and we're gonna make our way to the anvil to find our long lost ship, the Black Flag. Yeah, let's see, we need to make it all the way over here. We could fast travel, but we don't need to. We're also uh, an Argonian, so we can swim. We can breathe underwater. We just gotta be careful of evil fish. It's so murky. I never explored this, uh, the, the water in this game. But you always check these. You get clam uh, pearls. I think there's some bad guys chasing us. Probably mud crabs, though. This is one way to travel. I'm just looking for more. I'm looking for more uh, clams or we find some pearls. We're going to need as much gold as we can get. We're going to have to probably join a guild or something to make a ton of money. I had plans for that. Don't worry. But let's first go to our... Oh, here we go. Here's something. Let's first go to Anvil and uh, find the ship, find our long lost ship that we're going to reclaim. Don't think it was ours in the first place, but we're taking it anyway. It's probably the safest way you can travel in Oblivion, I guess. We're going to have to come out of the water soon enough, I think. Let's check the map actually. So we've swam all the way over there. Yeah, we'll come out here. And uh yeah, we'll come up uh, around here, I think. Finders keepers. Oh yes, that's gonna apply a lot to uh Jock Siegel. He'll just take everything. Like we said earlier, he's uh, attracted to shiny things. We're gonna find a ton of pearls. I've never done this in Oblivion on all my years of playing this game. I never just swam at the bottom of the uh, the lake around. Not worth as much as you'd like, though. Oh, we're passing underneath the bridge now. Whoa! A whole ton of them here. He's like rocket out of. Uh, The Disney uh, movie, what's it called again? Oh, did they get turned around? No, I didn't. It's just weird that those shells are empty. Yeah, I can see him being like that. Okay, now we're out of water. Yeah, we continue and make our way to Anvil. I, I'm gonna. I might use fast travel in the future, but we're probably going to try Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what's wrong, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to try not to use too much fast travel. And stick with um, 
running out of places, but that means you're gonna see me kill a lot of wolves. But like my other playthroughs, I don't really fast travel, mostly because I can't. So, to Anvil, it's best to go straight down and turn off and head towards Skingrad, so let's continue on down. Oh yeah, we should actually pick as many plants as we go along too. Gather as many, many alchemy ingredients as we can, as we are going to work on alchemy in this playthrough. I'm going to be interested, I'm going to level up my luck as much as I can too. I never use luck in this game, and I think being a pirate like Captain Jock Seagull, he's going to need as much uh, luck as he gets, or can get. I'm not sure what any of these ingredients do, most of them. Oh, yeah, that was over encumbered there. Let's, uh... I, I'm actually quite excited to do this DLC. It's a long time since I've done the uh, the pirate DLC in this game. It's kind of cheesy though. It really, it really is, but it's gonna be good. And when this content comes out to YouTube, so we're playing this on Twitch for anyone that's watching this. When this content, it's gonna be broken up into episodes, and it's going to be uh, put up on my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are new or watching on Twitch for the very first time and, and wonder who I am, I'm the Elder Irish. I have a YouTube channel. You should check it out. It's linked to my Twitch channel there too. And uh, we do a lot of Elder Scrolls content, stuff like that. Long playthroughs. We finish complete games from start to finish if we can. And uh, this is going to be my newest playthrough, Oblivion playthrough, of Jock Siegel, the Argonian pirate, in his search of power and money. And uh, we're going to try complete most of the DLCs that I had never completed yet on stream. And uh, we will uh, set up the whole Pirate Cove. Our Pir the Pirate Cove place is going to be our base of operations. Oh yeah, he's going to take everything shiny too. He, this guy is like a, like a magpie, you know, he's going to take everything. He's on his journey to get all things shiny. And I'll hopefully make him rich. He's gonna be. I'm gonna make him a bit of a hoard or two. Uh, let's make sure we try as many ingredients we can. Hello. Keep our distance from that guy. Oh yeah. Make sure we quick save this game. If you want good hell potions too, it's a good idea to actually hunt in this game. If you kill a deer and get venison, it makes a good, it's a good ingredient for hell potions. I, I know I should be jumping a lot more. Oh. Watch these guys. These little buff imps. I always thought it was crazy. Look at his, look at his six pack on this guy. Look at him. How fit he is. There's a cave there. We could explore that. We will in another episode. Today we're just concentrating on getting to our... Um, where that come from? That's another one. These little buff imps. Oh. This guy is so fit. Like, How does he have a six pack, man? Oh. And I'm trying not to use healing. Uh, I want to use health potions. So I'm going to... to put that as number four right we're going to try i keep hitting the the heal button i don't want to do that said we will drink health potions and make potions i just gotta get out of that habit of <laughs> constant healing if i can catch this deer and kill it it doesn't make <laughs> he's like stronger than most of the bad guys before it's over oh crap he's an imp it's just sexy little imp, sketchy man. I'll 
take your gal. Whatever that is. Holy oh, crap, so many of them here. He just like frost belt. So if no one's ever done these DLCs before, generally the rule with these DLCs is you get a they become like your a new player home. But the thing with them is you got to uh, get a lot of money to fix them up. So usually they'll find uh, a place where you have to go and buy materials for the place. So furniture and usually then the crew will start to show up. So here's our first bandit actually. Oh, the was easy. Um, coarse linens, fur boots, fur gauntlets. I don't really want the fur armor though. Let's have a look, see what it looks like though. Here's Jock Seagull. Okay, be happy with that, we'll leave him like that for now. He, he look the Kashyyyk's here. I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, take the pelts. The pelts are like worth 10 gold. Oh damn it, I did it again. I just gotta stop. Oh yeah, plants guys. I gotta take all the plants. Any ingredients I can find, I gotta make sure I'm picking them as I'm going. Then when next time we get to a place uh, where we get the rest, I will turn them into... potions. Which we will either sell or keep to use. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. I actually know... I believe in off the back of my hand. So, if you follow this road, right, it will pass Gingred, pass Kavach, and then it gets you to Anvil, where we need to go is here. So it kind of winds back and forward, but if you follow this road, you'll find a bunch of bad guys fight, you find good ingredients, content, stuff like that. It's always worth going. If you go off-road, you will find stuff, but you usually get a... Well, what is that? I'm not gonna go into the cave, but I'm taking these wheels. Uh, if you go off the road, you run into tons of wolves. There's constant wolves. That's how I always find. Where if you stay to the path, you'll find more bandits and stuff like that. A bit more of an interesting fights. A long time since I've not played this game and uh, just walked everywhere. Graveyard here. Hey. Nice and peaceful. Just stick this. We're not going to go into Skingrad. We're going to pass by it for now. We'll be back. Don't worry. Hopefully, the person that we need to buy the equipment off will be in uh, Anvil. Collect as much as this stuff as we can get. Forget how nice this game it can be. We got evil music here. Who is it? Who's challenging Jock Seagull? Just fools. Oh, 
main route. We'll have to do this quest. I've discovered a sprig. A sprig of Nirnroot. A plant ingredient that's unusual. It must have value. Perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find a little bit more about it. An alchemist can be found around almost anywhere in Cyrodiil. We will do this after... This this turns into like a fetch quest kind of thing. I think you have to gather like 10 and then you got to gather... 20 or something like that and then it goes up and up eventually I think you have to gather 100 overall um, but uh, eventually it does it ends up getting to about 100 uh, near roots in the end and then he makes you a special like potion or something out of them the lore though about that guy he ends up in Skyrim if you didn't know the draw distance of this game, what is going on here? Can I video? Actor fade, tree fade. That just make the trees disappear. View distance, all the way up. Grass fade. Let's let's bring everything up. I don't know if that's gonna make everything disappear, but Hopefully that makes things look a little nicer. Everything's popping in. I don't know why everything's so low. I know it's an older game and all that. Look at these farmers. You got some grapes I can borrow, guys? Promise I won't bring them back. Yeah, that guy from the near road. Yeah, he's, he's in the next game. He's in uh, Skyrim. I won't spoil it for you, but we kind of we found them in my play Skyrim playthrough, my Dragonborn playthrough. So if you guys want to see that, feel free. Look, these guys are making wine. Any free wine here? I'll take that. Free repair hammer. Never just. I don't remember ever discovering this place. This is wine country. Ooh. Damn it. New shoes. Let's take the grapes. <laughs> for guys that don't have nothing to, uh, to make for this year. They're gonna be ruined. Just been scammed by Captain Jack Siegel. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, there's so much more, actually. <laughs> I honestly didn't think that the vineyard was as big. I thought that's all it was going to be. In Skyrim, that's all it would be. Make sure I'm going the right way. Alright, let's get back on the road. Got plenty of grapes. I think grapes only... Um, the grapes do. I think they only ret restore fatigue. But like Skyrim, they do multiple things, right? So... Oh, water, water walking. And restore fatigue. So if I find something else that does water walking, I could make a water walking potion. And actually walk on top of water. Ah, damn it. We got a game crash. And okay, we're back. We're back where we left off from the last from when the game crashed that time. You gotta love it. Bethesda and their games. Not buggy whatsoever. As a good old Todd Howard would say, it just works. Hello, wolf. What are you doing here? What's oh, a dog? You attack me, man? I'm not against you, man. What then? Boar meat. They're probably lowly workers. One more grape you take is the less they have to harvest. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. I 
Nerve bandit, huh? He's gonna defeat Captain Jump Sparrow. Oh, he has actually the Greaves. Take them too. Alrighty. Uh, do do do. Do 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 do. Uh, let's take a potion. And let's drop the heat. Quick save. Gotta learn my lessons. Thanks, Michelle. Yes, save. Thanks for reminding me. I, I need. I'm gonna need you to do that. To be honest. But tell me. I get too invested in the game, and then I'll <laughs> then we'll have a crash, or I'll die or something, and we'll end way back. Okay. How much further? Next town should be Kvatch, yes, and then after Kvatch, it's Anvil. Over there. Collect, collect, collect. We're gonna have to do a whole bunch of uh, potion making soon. I didn't mean to press that, I meant to press tab. Yeah, we're on the right, right road. I know it doesn't look like we're heading in the right direction with the, the green arrow being that way. Like, I could run over that way. But then you run into the issue of getting stuck on cliffs and stuff like that. So, when you whenever you cross a bridge in um, Oblivion, it's normally a toll bridge. So, it used to be a, like a highway man or something. There might be a guy hiding down there. They usually try to run out and get you. There's no one here to stand up. It's probably that other guy. He probably moved down further. You're the same. Or you'll kill a companion and have to reload. Yeah. I constantly kill companions. And sometimes I haven't saved in a long time. And I get too far into it. And uh, sometimes I don't think it's worth this, the reload. <laughs> Hence why a lot of my, my fo uh, followers don't um, last for very long. Little bandit. Take it. Get out of here. This is the part we I what? What'd you say? Yeah, that's what I thought. That looked glitched. Let's not take them. Okay. We're not going to Kvatch. Just so if anyone's wondering. You don't want to go there right now. Kvatch is having, uh, let's say, hard times. We're probably going to be spending a lot of time over in your anvil, let's say, in this playthrough. It's nice actually walking to the area, because now we get to uh, get all these ingredients, which otherwise you wouldn't really get to. A lot of people complain about this game, um, the way it's kind of rolled as a dice. Sometimes you might not be able to get certain ingredients. But I don't think it's too bad. Look at all the ingredients I'm already collecting. It's not, it seems fairly easy, but... Where in Skyrim, you if you see a plant, you can pick that plant. And I kind of like that too. I don't think... I don't think there should be a small chance of picking some... Of not being able to pick some up. And you can't take the butterflies if anyone's wondering in this game. You mainly kill, accidentally kill your dog Vigilance. And you refuse to let him die, so you have to keep reloading, Michelle. <laughs> oh god, I hate 
8 kill on my companions and stuff like that. I thought people would get a lot more mad at me when I'm playing my streams when my uh, companions die, but they don't seem to care too much. I think people just know that's gonna happen nowadays. Just live with the fate that I'm probably gonna kill, get everyone killed. So this is what this is gonna be a lot of a lot of running. Ocean get our health full. The thing you have to deal with in Oblivion is like kind of Fallout. If you play Fallout games, weapons degrade and armor degrades. So we gotta make sure we keep on top of that too. That's why I've put a skill of armor in uh, so we can actually repair things. If you have really low skill of armory, um, every time you try to repair something, it just breaks the hammer straight away. So if you see any repair hammers, we have to make sure to take them. Okay. Maybe we should take a shortcut now across the land. There's Anvil down there. Oh. Ouch. Oh my goodness. That nearly killed me. What the... F okay, we're probably going to die if I just jump anymore because the height of the fall from my jump is killing me this game is kind of, can be very pretty sometimes Gonna be a cave over here somewhere. We might have to. I think we have to fight something when we go in here. I think it's like skeletons or something. But we get equipment. As far as I remember, I think we get a good sword. We uh, get some basic equipment, and then we can start working fixing it up. And uh, Captain Jock Siegel's journey really begins. Then I'm not sure if it's on that rock. It would appear there is a cave that leads underneath Castle Anvil. The rumors are, in, the rumors indicate Dungborough Cove may be located under the castle itself. I should head to the cave, into the cave. Okay, oh, it's over there. Hey, man, you okay? You a little lost, Wolfie? So here, uh, if you're enjoying this playthrough, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to catch the full playthrough live, I play these on Twitch. So hit the description down in the link below to go to my Twitch channel. Follow me on Discord to get this, uh, my schedule. I'm still finding a schedule on this, so it can interchange. So make sure you guys follow me there or on Twitter too. I update there too. All links are down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like button, subscribe button, or comment on the on the videos. It really helps. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.